What's going on guys? Welcome back to today's video. Today we are in the kitchen and we are going to be doing a little bit of yellow jack catch and cook. I want to show you guys some clips of us catching these fish and we are going to get into those in just a second but we're going to try and catch or we're going to try and cook some yellow jack. We've seen a lot of them down there in the Keys. We went down for a few days and we got on a couple yellow jacks in a bridge down near Bahia Honda State Park. There was probably 10 or 20 of them and we ended up landing three. We probably had five or 10 different bites and we just were not successful in getting all of our bites in the boat. So today we've got about six giant fillets, which is a really nice thing about yellow jack is that the fillets are really, really large. And the bad thing is, is that there's some red meat in them. So we're gonna get those cut up in just a second. But to start, I wanna show you guys some clips of us catching these and then we'll get into the cooking part. This is a much bigger fish and he's getting chased, I think. Ooh, yellow tail. Oh no, it's, oh. no, I lied. It's a yellow oh, it's jack. It's a Spanish bank or something, maybe. Oh, I'm not wow. sure. It's no, a, no, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a, a jack. It's a yellow jack, I think. Yeah, yeah. Second. And I got the pliers. Yeah, pretty, pretty. Oh. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely a good fish. It's got to be. Ooh, another yellow jack. It's another yellow jack. Big yellow jack. Real to the right? Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, bud. I think we got all the three of them hooked together, didn't we? That's all right, no big deal. That's a pretty one, though, isn't it? Let me get you your holder. Keep him to the right, away from the boat. Away from the boat. You're gonna have to stand up. We gotta at least I'm see gonna, it. I'm gonna see you guys can be staying What is it? Yellow jack. Oh, Liz. Oh, one, huh? They come in groups. They'll, 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 you ready for another one? Ready for another, uh, they'll come in a big school through here. Yep. They come in a school. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. Throw in there. Hope you guys enjoyed those clips right there. To start, we're going to go ahead and get this front burner on kind of a medium, a medium heat. We've got just a small pan today because we're not going to do a ton of fish. And we're going to put a little bit of oil in the pan. We're going to do like a shallow pan fry. So about a quarter to half an inch of oil. Not a lot. I'm using sunflower oil and extra virgin olive oil. Probably would be better with canola oil just for the fact that it's cheaper and you're frying it. So it doesn't have to be that high, uh, high quality oil. Oil in the pan right there. And I got a cutting board and we're going to get out some fillets. And as you see, sorry about the kitchen being dirty. But these fillets have a nasty red bloodline and so you're going to want to cut all of that meat off and cut any of the little um, skin of the fish off and the back side you can tell that there's some bones that run straight down the middle so we're going to clean that up and we're going to do like little chickens or uh, fish sticks out of this and we'll probably do two fillets today and then we'll have a couple left over they're kind of a pretty dark red meat probably didn't help that i let them sit for a little bit with some of the bloodline in there so we're going to cut it out clean it up and then we'll go from there Key to a good fish is you're going to need a very sharp knife. So what we're going to do is just trim up any of that skin that's on there. Get that pulled off and put to the side. You just don't want that on your fillets. And we're going to cut out this middle red part. You don't want any of that in your fillets because that will just be nasty and very gamey. Unfortunately, it's a little bit wasteful because you're using you're cutting off so much of the red meat, but it's the only way to make this fish very edible. I'm also removing some of the ribs that I did not get from earlier. Okay, so we got a few different ways we're going to cook this. As you can see right there, that's kind of the scrap that's left over with dark red in it, and then we got our beautiful fillets right there. 
So we're going to do two different methods. Today we're going to use some Frank's Red Hot, which is just the normal way I do it. It's Frank's Red Hot, and then you dip it in flour with a little bit of seasonings, and we're going to lightly fry that. And then another way we're going to do it is with this seasoning right here. This is some Louisiana fish fry products. Seasoned crispy fish fry, seafood breading mix. So we're going to try that on half the fish as well. It doesn't require any type of liquid. Just put your fillet straight in there, and then we're both going to... We're going to fry both of those and see what happens. So let's start making these. So it doesn't require any liquid, so we're just putting the filet in there. It's going to be lightly done. And then we're going to shallow fry this for just a few minutes. There's one. Should I do two or three? Okay, we'll do two that way and we'll do three the regular way because we know we like regular. Never had yellow jack before, but we'll see what happens. We got any pinchers? So they're already going pretty good. I don't think it's going to take super long. We got those two and then we're going to get, probably, we're going to do these three in the Frank's Red Hot, which is our traditional way. So you just put these in the Red Hot, let them sit for a second, make sure they're completely coated. Unlike the other batter, you don't have to have a liquid. Where this one, you need a liquid to get the flour to stick pretty good. And those will work. So we're going straight from the Frank Shred Hot into the flour. Roll it around a little bit. And there's one fillet. And do the other three, the other two. Roll it around a little bit. Oh my, I'm making a mess. Nice thing about both these recipes is they're fairly simple and everybody loves a little bit of fried fish. It's been a few minutes now and we're going to go ahead and give her a, a light flip. That's crisping up pretty good. Shouldn't take too long, maybe two more minutes. Alright, I'm going to say the fish is done now. Just a few minutes because these are really, really thin fillets. Oh yeah, and it's starting to flake and it's kind of pinched apart a little bit. First time ever having Yellow Jack, so we'll see what it's like. I think I'm going to like the Frank's Red Hot better, but we will see. There's the three in the Frank's. Really important to have hot oil so the fish doesn't absorb too much oil because it just takes very nasty and greasy. Alright, a couple minutes in. Let's give her a flip. Ooh, that's looking fire. Just a light brown coating. Oh yeah. Come on, flip. Flip for me. Ooh yeah. And if you really want a thick breading. You can always do a double dunk on the Frank's Red Hot and do even more flour. Oh yeah, nice and flaky. It's done. I have to be honest, this looks much better than the uh, Louisiana fish batter. Couple little pieces right there. I'm still got a bunch left to go. All right, turn the oven off now. We're gonna let it cool down for just a second, and then we're gonna dive on in and see if it's any good. If you guys have ever had any Yellow Jack or tried any cool recipes, let me know down below what you guys think. And if you if you have any recipes you want to share, please share them because I've never tried this before, so we'll see if it's any good. All right, first up is the Louisiana fish batter. Fish is definitely cooked, very flaky. It's a white fish, which is nice. Let's see what we think. It's not bad. A little chewy. It's a very mild fish. Probably needs something like a tartar sauce or ketchup because it's kind of dry, but not too bad. Let's go for the Frank's Red Hot, which is still flaming hot. One second. It's still flaming hot. It meant I want to try it now, though. Okay, let's eat the little guy now. <laughs> don't like that I would be shocked I don't know I think the Franks is probably taking the dub just by a little bit 
Probably could have gone a little heavier on the seasoning. Actually, a good idea is probably to put a little bit of salt on it after it's fried so that there's a little like salty flavor because it's kind of bland right now. So I definitely need more seasoning. This one takes the dub and the seasoning, but it's it's a little dry, probably thinner. Just a little bit. Okay. I'll try to salt now. Oh, that's much better. That's good. That's hot, so I like it. It's good. If you've never tried Yellow Jack, I highly recommend you get out there and try to catch one. I'm not exactly sure how rare they are, but I, I don't think a lot of people catch them super often. Usually you catch a lot of Jack Cravals or Amber Jacks. And um, I fish quite a bit and I've never really got into any Yellow Jacks before, but I do like them. I would, I would highly recommend taking it home. But if you don't cut out that bloodline and uh, some of those bones in the middle, you would never like this fish. So make sure you do those couple steps and I'm sure you'll like it. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little catch and cook. And uh, let me know down below what you guys think. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.